What's up creative fellas? Hope y'all are having a nice day. Hereby I present to you my Tutorial Tuesday series where I'm gonna be dropping a tutorial every Tuesday and for today I prepared something that many of you had requested matching the light and color between a foreground and a background. I will be showing you how to take this image and turn it into this image. Well, not completely, but uh, I mean the basics, just the blending part. So let's go. So I got my wolf here and the first thing that I need to do is to just cut this wolf out of its background. I always use the pen tool because it is just the most precise. So I'm gonna quickly cut this wolf out and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Beautiful nose. I'm just gonna cut the nose so precise because I love the nose. It looks so cute. Alright, so I'm just gonna create a layer mask to cut it out and I have a solid black adjustment layer behind it and it looks so clean, look at the fur. You lying. What do you mean I'm lying? I'm not lying. You are lying, man. I use the pen tool too and look at, look at mine, look at my result, it doesn't look like yours. I know what you're talking about, man. The fur looks like trash, actually there is no fur because I use the technique here to cut the fur out and I'll tell you later, okay? Just just bear with me. This is all about blending today. I'll get to this later on, okay? Okay. Now shut up. Do your job. When did you become so rude? Oh my god. Anyways, let's move on guys. Never mind him. So I have cut the wolf out of his background and I have dropped it onto his new background. Now, let me quickly rename the layers. Now the first thing that you want to match is the light values. To see only the light values, you're going to create a check layer. So create a solid adjustment layer. You can go with white, you can go with black, any shades of gray. I always go with black. Just make sure that the hue and saturation values are set to zero and then change the layer blend mode to color. Now all you are looking at is brightness or light values and at the very first glance you can tell that the wolf is way brighter than the background so we're gonna have to fix it i create a levels adjustment layer and i clip it to the wolf layer by clicking on that clip icon and i just make the wolf darker you can go with curves you can use any method you like but i prefer levels because it is just gives you more controls and it, it just gives you more sliders to play with so it's easier you saw the before and the after it makes a huge difference so now that we have matched the lighting the next thing that you need to match is colors so to do that again create another solid adjustment layer and this time type in the hex code 808080 it is for 50 percent gray or make sure that the brightness is 50 percent and the hue and saturation are zero and set the blend mode to luminosity now all you can see is color but probably you will not see it clearly so to boost the colors you're going to create a curves on top of it and then make a s curve just create a shape like that and exaggerate it so you can clearly see the tones. Now you can see that the wolf has so much green in it and I use curves to match the tones so create another curves and clip it to the wolf layer just right on top of the levels and with the help of this little finger go to the green channel and reduce the greens 
try to match it with the background. And if you don't know how to use curves, then you are so doomed. I'm just joking, you're not doomed, but just let me know in the comments so I can get more into details. And now you can see the before and after, it's a drastic change. And probably this will be a bit too much, so I reduced the opacity to about 70%. And now it completely matches with the background. Create one more solid layer and choose any color. I choose red because it is just more dominant, but you can choose any color and change the blend mode to hue. This is to check the saturation. All you see now is saturation. The areas that are more red are more saturated. The wolf looks okay in terms of saturation, but let's just say for example, if I make the wolf more saturated, it will be more red. So the areas that are more red are more saturated, but the wolf looks all right already. Maybe I will just reduce the saturation by a couple of numbers, maybe minus 15 to make it even blend more. Let's take a look at the complete before and after. Here's the before, here's the after, boom. So those are the layers you need in order to match the subject with the background. The black one is for lighting. So let me just rename it to light. The 50% gray is for colors and the red one is for saturation. That curves that we created on top of 50% gray is just for boosting the colors. Now you can just uh, put all these layers in one group and rename the group to check layers. And basically, every time that you need to match something with this background, you need to add an element, you can just use these check layers to see the light, to see the colors, and to see the saturation. I want to put this bone inside of this wolf's body, so I've just brought it into the project. And I want to put it where I want it to be, just like that. And I want to mask out the areas that are unnecessary. With the brush should have been a beatboxer yeah perfect and i want it to be inside the body so i want to create a hole in the wolf's stomach so i will just create a hole does that make sense? I got the bone, I got the hole, now I just gotta put my bone in the hole. Bro, what? <laughs> Finally, I've got the bone in place. Now I'm gonna repeat the three steps again for the bone. So I will just use my check layers, I will turn on this black adjustment to see the lights and I will use levels to bring down the brightness of the bone as much as needed. All right, lighting checked. Now let's turn on this 50% gray and the curves to see the tones. Actually, the tones look okay, but maybe just tweak it a little bit, uh, play with the colors to match it even further. I'll just uh, play with this tones to see what looks cool. I match the color of the bone and I match the light of the bone. The saturation looks okay. So everything's perfect at the moment. I've brought in a beef. Actually, it is a beef. It's a piece of meat. I want to add it to this uh, to the body of this poor wolf. So actually, I will repeat all the steps for this piece of meat as well and by the way i changed the blend mode to multiply to get rid of that white background um, you could have just uh, removed it but i just changed the blend mode because anyways the beef is going to be dark because it's going to be inside the body so that was just the perfect choice for me and i have brought in another image this is going to be for the background because they want it to look more dramatic uh, I've got this image and I will just reposition it and put it in the right place. Maybe rotate it a little bit. And awesome. 
Now I will put a layer mask on it and I will erase off the extra parts with a soft brush to make it blend. I've brought in an image of some clouds. I'll transform it and put it where it should be. And I'll erase off the extra parts with a soft brush. If I turn on the brightness check layer, you will see that this image is way brighter than the background. So we'll need to make it darker too with some levels adjustment. And if I turn on the color check layer, you will see that it is more blue in comparison to the background. I always use curves to match the tones. So I'll clip a curves adjustment layer to this layer and I will just play with these tones, maybe remove some greens, add some red, remove some blue to add up some yellow and I'll just try to match it with the rest of the background. Now that everything is well blended, I will get a soft brush and I will erase off the hard edges that are still remaining. I try to blend it as much as possible. Three days later. Alright guys, that was all I had for you today. I mean, there are many more ways to blending. There are many more methods which I will get to them later on in future videos. But this was just the basic thing that I do for 99% of my composites to blend a subject with its background. But now that you have come so far to the end of this video, I've got a bonus tip for you. And that is, I'm gonna show you how to create that blood onto this wolf's body. I mean, I'm gonna show you how to paint blood. To create realistic blood effect, you need to just create a new layer, get your brush, it's gonna be a soft brush, and open up your brush settings. If you don't see the brush settings here, just click on Windows, Brush Settings, and the first thing you wanna do is go to Brush Tip Shape and increase the spacing to about 30-40%, like that. Then go to your Shape Dynamics, and increase the size, size jitter all the way up to 100%. Go to your scattering, increase the scatter to about 20%, and then go to transfer and increase the opacity jitter to about 34% or about 40. Just see what suits best for you. And then the next thing you need to do is to change the brush blend mode to multiply. Pay attention, change the brush blend mode, not the layer blend mode. Change the brush blend mode to multiply and you're gonna need a, an appropriate color. The recommended color is uh, 600000. It will give you a dark, deep red color, which is uh, pretty cool for painting blood. This is just a base color. You can change it to whatever you want, but this is my go-to when I first start painting blood. Now just uh, change your flow to something low, about 10-12%, see what's uh, good for you. And then start painting blood wherever you want it to be. Because the brush blend mode is multiply, the more you paint on an area, the darker it becomes. And it is the key to creating realistic blood effect. Seven hours later. As you guys know, I have recently created this channel, so I need your support to grow. So please click on the subscribe button and also smash that like button and turn on this bell icon so you get notified of the upcoming future tutorials so I can create more and better content for you guys. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next episode soon.